Okay, guys. So while you set up the machine, so we can do a quick exercise here. Uh, we have a new instructor today. Pankaj is not here. She uh, she's a sweet learner, and we'll g g g do a quick uh, introduction introduction round. So we'll be introduce ourselves, name or anything you would like to share for her. <laughs> Probably we can start with you. Yes, yeah. I can. So, hi guys, I'm Svetlana. Uh, you maybe know Pankash, and uh, I work with him in DTU Biosystem. Uh, so, I usually do back end development, but I also do, did co quite some front end work uh, in the past. So, yeah, I'm happy, happy to be here and uh, happy to meet you all. Yes, then we can go and uh, take a round here. My name is Chendu from India. Yes. Matthew from Canada. My name is Matt from Palestine. I am Richard from the Philippines. Hi, my name is Doug. I'm from Palestine. Hi, I'm Moscow from Iran. I'm Shafiq from Syria. My name is Anwar from Bangladesh. My name is Siri from Syria. <laughs> I see. Yes. Um, and I'm Abed <laughs> from uh, Bangladesh. Also, yeah. Okay, so we have the name tag here. Yeah. So you can help yourself uh, find the name. Okay. So can you just quickly set up a machine uh, so we can start? So today is the is this the class? It's not a you know. Uh, it's not a JS2 or JS3, it's a bonus class for us. So before we go to the JS3, so we we'll just have a, you know, the instructor are not available this week. So we decided to uh, take an extra class so we can you know, revisit the things that we've learned. And we we'll try some exercise together, do some code, and that's it, that's the purpose. Okay, so uh, yeah, and for that, we, we need your uh, machine set up uh, so we can do the exercise. And I told uh, that I need, we need to go to the homework, but I don't. I don't think that we should have that much time for doing the homework and all the exercise, everything. But I would like to uh, go quickly. If you, anyone have anything to share with the homework, like if you have done some great work, you can share with us so we can see together for 15 minutes. So <clears throat> I don't have any uh, specific slide uh, today. Uh, the agenda is we'll be looking at the homework for 15 minutes, and then we'll go to the have you all seen this uh, text message, right? Yes. Yeah. So we'll be working on the game app that we have built uh, last time, a few weeks ago. The very silly, stupid game, but we'll try to give some, you know, uh, give some professional tasks so we can, you know, use or show to our friends or anyone we can share. We'll do that today. So we'll be spending most of the time building this. And if you have some time for half an hour or 45 minutes, We'll uh, do some debugging uh, uh, tricks and trick. Uh, probably Switzerland should should will help in this. And yeah, so that's the you know three things: uh, quick homework uh, uh, visit, and then uh, this exercise and the debugging tools. So you will be ready for next just uh, just three module. And we'll try to do it a bit slowly. Um, there will be no homework for next time. <laughs> Uh, good news. Uh, yeah, so that's good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And basically, we'll uh, try to uh, you know go slowly and try to skill, uh, utilize our things that we have learned so far till now. All the JavaScript and HTML things. We cannot uh, implement everything within a short time, but we'll try as much as we can, right? And there, probably, if we can finish everything, there will be some improvement. I would suggest probably if you have some anyone have extra additional time. So you can work on that and submit the pull request or anything if you want. Yes. So is there anyone who want to share the homework today? I mean, how was the homework? I didn't see any, uh, reviewed any homework, so I don't know. I can share, but it's not done. <laughs> Anyone's it's done with the homework? Mind? Yeah, it's done. You done? Yeah. Okay. I posted the link there. You posted the link. So who want to, uh, you know, who are confident that you are done and then you can show or you have got the comment from Pankos and you have solved this thing? I haven't got anything. You haven't got anything? Nobody. Yeah, so probably we, you can, we can spend five, five, five minutes for you, five minutes for you. So you just revisit and you ex have to explain what is the homework and how, how did you solve it. Okay. 
Okay, so it all get benefited, right? Mm -hmm. So should I open you open the link uh, so you can share a uh, see from this screen or how do you show it? Yeah, you can. Open. Otherwise, too much, you know, cable switching, right? So if I go to your post, yeah, this one. This channel. is the one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you can demo the homework, then you can go to the code and how what you have done. Can you come here and show what is, what is the homework? I was not here in the last class, so I don't know what you did. This is for searching the uh, Hacker Future repositories. Like, when you don't enter anything, it will gonna tell you, like, it will, like, it will find it's empty, you enter the empty input, and it will tell you, like, enter something. And so some basic variation. So if you yeah. have nothing take the uh, input, so it will say to provide some input, right? Yeah, if yeah. you try to give some input, then it's gonna give you the repository list with the with the alphabet or with the word. So you search, yeah. Then you can click on that particular uh, repository link to see the repository name and the like number of the watchers or stars for and the who are the contributors for the repository. Yeah. And if you want to see the profile, um, if you want to go to see the data, you can click this link. In a new tab, you're going to see this one. Yeah. So if you enter something like that, If it is if they don't match, then it's it's gonna say you no results. No results. Uh, type something else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. This is what I think. So can you just quickly go through the code and see, show what you have actually? What is the critical part, or how did you solve it? Uh, well, yeah. This is the JavaScript file. So Just tell me one thing. What is the critical thing and how do you solve it? Critical thing? Was like you saw it's challenging. Mm -hmm. Anything specific? Yeah. Anything specific? Like how did you say oh, there's no repository found the error, not found results? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I was checking whether it's like a when you get the data, I was checking it's an empty string or you have something like a you can check with is is it an empty a field yeah. like where it has just a minute. I think you have done uh, quite you know more <laughs> so yeah. I had difficult to you know go through all everything. I was not expecting so. Okay, uh, let's I would, let's keep it. Let's I would keep it. Know. Yeah. Okay. I don't think it's a good idea. We will not actually get what actually been done here. It, it, there's too much thing here. Maybe if it's a code editor, I can go yeah. through it. Let's yeah. let's do it later on. Okay. So it's, it's Is it okay that we skip the homework part yeah. today? Yeah. <coughs> because we made uh, a part of the Probably, uh, I feel sometimes a little bit boring. I don't know what you guys say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The search text length is yeah. greater than zero. Yeah. Because then do more than it. Yeah. yeah, you yeah. don't have a uh, quite long yeah. actually. Uh, I think it's a good work. Exactly. I, I didn't do anything more. Just exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Done the so yeah. if you need more time. <laughs> yeah, that's good. If anyone done exact the thing, so if you have time later, then so we'll do it. I did it exactly, but then the last step. It's okay. Try, exactly but yeah. I didn't finish it because uh, something uh, was going on. Okay. Okay, okay guys. Can you can you just Walk through the code, talk about it. Uh, yeah, that from the start. Uh, 
that he retrieved the yeah. elements from each table? Yeah, we can do that, but it will take time. Uh, yeah. Do you want to invest time on this one, or we want to uh, do some fun? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if we understand that, it will be fun. Yes, so then we, we try to uh, slowly build the block, so you will understand how we are doing, and then probably do, we can do it ourselves later on. Okay. Can you pull that? So if you guys are familiar with this one, so all you need, yeah, I can open a thread, so we'll be you know building together, so we'll share the code, right? So I'll open a thread, so I'll be sharing there, and you can copy paste uh, from the thread. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so first, first thing you should do, uh, you need a clone uh, workspace. So basically, uh, I will share this uh, repository. So if you can clone the repository in your machine quickly. Uh, Using Git? Git, yeah. It, everybody has a Git installed in the machine, right? Otherwise, you have to pair up with someone. <laughs> you don't like Git? You will love it when you will know how to use it. It's, a, it's the most famous tool, you know, for any... I love Git anything, like... I don't know why I love it, but I like it. <laughs> okay, so if you go to this, uh, uh, click the link, and you can see the... Uh, I, I can walk through the process, so you can all follow me if you don't, if you don't know how to do it. So here, if you can see here, uh, the, uh, if you have a SHS installed in your machine, so you can just run this line in a terminal. Otherwise, you can download the zip file. So whatever suits you, just do that. You can download the zip file, or you can uh, clone the with the SHS. I think it's easier if you don't like this. Huh? Here's the command like slash. <laughs> I will share it. Slack, <coughs> Slack. What I did with my kid bash. And let me know if anyone need help. Any, anybody? You should be very quick. You clone the report? Clone or download whatever you, is best for you. Clone is best. And raise your hands quickly so we can just run faster. I pasted the command in the. Do, do not open. Uh, do not open a separate thread or put on the same uh, the thread I open here. Just reply here. Don't open too many threads. We're supposed to be doing this again. Yeah. And the uh, terminal. Yes. Open the terminal. Yeah. And then make sure that. You are in the directory where you want the folder to be Can you copy this Richard, can you also help with this? Is this one? Yes. This this one. If you want this one, no. Wait. Do you want to do this one? Go to open workspace. Um. Then go to the open folder. Yeah. You manage to do that. Yes. Yes. Just unzip it. Just Which one? Yeah. I will just get a kind of. Do you have it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So you just need to open this folder in the in the file ID. So, on our night? Yep. Okay, it's So, 
So you can open this uh, project here. Uh, you have a, a code, vision code. You use this one. So you go to this page and then as you can draw the drag and drop, right? Yeah. So now close all of the tabs. Okay. So who are done with the download the project? You you download download the downloading project? Okay. Anyone? Done? Please raise your hand who are done. You done? You done? Okay. All good? Yeah. Yes. So, so if you have a if you download, so you should see these two folder at least uh, module one and module two. You all can see that in the directory. So open module two in your IDE, like uh, uh, visual code or sublime text, whatever you have. So yeah, just open it in the uh, in IDE, the folder. And close all the tabs you have opened. Uh, so we have a uh, you know, fresh. Yes. So at least you should see three files here, index.html, index.js, and readme file, something, right? Yeah. yeah. You can all see in the uh, ID. Can you show me in the ID? Yes. You are done? You are done? This one is gone. Oh, yeah. Let's remove it. So you so I think we are all set now. <coughs> uh, let's start then. So I also I also do the same. Uh, go to this one. So so in the directory, if you can see this uh, index.html file, right? So click this one, double click, it will open in the browser, and you should see this uh, awesome message. So, everybody see this one? Yeah. Just a, a, a HTML file, double click on the HTML file. Not in the, in the ID, in the you know, directory. Uh, yeah. Folder or whatever, I don't know what it calls. Yeah. Double click and it should open in the browser. So, everybody see this message? Okay, great. So, so we are resuming uh, the uh, uh, exercise from the previous stage, right? In the previous day, we did something, some tool online available, but now this one, we are using our local browser to do this exercise. So you should have to right click here and then open the inspector. So it is a dev tool. So you will see this like that. And if you go to the console, you should remember this one, right? Last time we did that, right? If, you, if I open, go to the, you know, uh, Here. Sorry? Step one, file not found. You can check the console. Yeah, what it says? It says failed to load results. File not found. So you should change the file name to index in the HTML. In the HTML, the file name is wrong. Is it wrong? Index.js, you should put. Okay. Yeah, it's step one. Yeah. Oh, sorry, step one. Yeah, that's true. Please no. uh, change this to uh, index.html. I can show you. Index.js. Index.js, yeah. Okay. Uh, script file. Yeah, I will go through, yeah, yeah. Uh, together. So here, if you go this page, yeah. so you should replace this uh, no, to index.html, uh, sorry, js. And that should be fine. And save, please run that. So I also do the same for you. Refresh. So now everybody can see this. Yeah. Yeah. So you are familiar with this one, right? We built together last time. So it's basically 
uh, I just created a HTML file where I just included this, uh, you know, uh, index uh, resource and put a text here or some message and then this is the file, JS file. So I copy paste from the module one and put here everything. Not, I have nothing done special here, right? So, yeah. And if you can go here, see module two, I uh, created a small uh, readme file where we'll be, you know, following these things today. So we'll uh, use JSON array, array manipulation like we did for homework, exercise map, filter, sort, loop, so all this bunch of things. So probably we'll not be able to do everything, but we'll try how much you can do. So I just created, you know, some steps just to follow along with it. And if you can see. So I'm sharing the code here. So it will be too many sharing today. So you copy paste everything and replace the index.js file with this text. So we are going to change uh, the text. Yeah, just copy and replace everything in the index.js file, only JavaScript file. So I also do the same with you. Done? Uh, Copy paste is very simple, right? So If you can, can you please follow my screen? So you just do it yourself. Just see here, guys. Can you just have attention here? So here, I just copy paste someone from the Slack and then just replace in index. You place uh, Control A, select all, and then Control V. It should replace. And then save, and then go to the browser and refresh the browser again. So you should see exactly the same thing. But there are some comments. Yeah. yeah. Nine yeah don't, it's mistakes? No, not mistakes. Like the first I think it's Okay, forget about these mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> but does it, does it show this uh, result or not? No. It doesn't because, show. Because, because, it yeah, because if you copy it, code snippet. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true, man. Yeah, I forgot this thing. I should do it again. Yeah, sorry. It converted. Yeah, I should uh, share as a code, not as a you know text. How do I share here as a code? Yeah, uh, this one, right? Yeah, back ticks, yeah, that's true. But, my God, why? Yeah, here I can do that. <coughs> like that? No. No? Like, do you have no, yeah. to show the initial? Click on plus. There's a plus button. Here? Here and there is a plus sign. Oh, no, no, I want to, you know, use this thread, not only open thread. Okay, anyway, then I have to do it, actually. Sorry. I was thinking to use the same thread for everything. Yeah. Now I should be fine. Thanks. Uh, Is it green now? So you can refresh and you can see this still uh, the same output, right? Yeah, same output. Okay. It's the same like unexpected identifier. What does it say on what line? Copy from snippet? There is the numbers 1, 4. Did you copy it from the snippet or from the thread? Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's the wrong one. You just remove this, it's unexpected line on this. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay, guys, I'm doing again, so I don't know why it's taking too long. It's critical. So all you can see this page, right? Index of JS, at least, right? So I'm doing from the beginning. Follow along, along with me. Delete this thing. Now it should be empty, right? If you're not done, if you're not done, don't do it, everybody. So then go to this one, Slack, and then open the file here. And, you know, how to copy this? Who knows? <laughs> I have to copy exactly. from here, right? Manually. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, copy and then paste, right? Copy, paste, right? And then hit Ctrl S, it should save your file. And open the browser, same browser. Just hit refresh. How, if it's a Windows F5 or if it's a Mac, it's different key, key combination. So you should see exactly the same thing, right? So if you, and then click on this source, and then you can see the source, and then click on index.js, yeah. and you should see to do something, to do. Just to verify you copy the right thing. Because the previous output and this output is look exactly the same, right? There's no difference. You can all see this one, step one, and this uh, to do stuff. Yeah. Okay, great. So now we are ready for the exercise. Now we just you know we just set up our environment. Now we should uh, go for actual work. So, if you can see here, what it says, uh, the step first is like we'll be try to use the uh, and the array or JSON object, whatever you call it. So last time, uh, if you remember uh, here, see our code. It was like we defined the uh, player as like uh, let player one, let player two. Uh, we assign a variable. With a JSON object, we say name, digit, and zone and stuff, right? So it's a long things, and then we use this player object uh, to, you know, uh, do some uh, calculation to find the right winner. So I mentioned here the first to do is here. It says use player uh, from player. Uh, uh, okay. So basically, you should do what uh, you have to remove all the variable and convert into a order array of objects. So how many to do here? Here three to dos. Okay. So how to convert the object? I can show you just you know idea. So we can say let, or you can say uh, let yeah let that's fine. Players. So it's a it's a, it's a multiple player right? So we can just write here equal sign, and then uh, yeah, my key combination uh, yeah like this. So here you have, and then you just have to do what? You copy this one, object. one object here, and then semicolon, can, are you following? Sem, uh, and then comma, and then copy the second one. Like that. So you finish everything and delete de delete the, all the variables you have. Okay. Player, one, player one, player two. So you combine them everything in one array of object. In two minutes. Yes. It's just uh, removing and uh, rearranging code, nothing special. And always raise your hand if you don't get what I'm saying. Uh, what is the exercise? And I'm also doing the same thing, so you can follow if you are confused.
Raise your hands if you're done. Only nine, nine players, right? So array will have nine, nine items with a nine player. That's it. Nine from index zero to eight, but it's nine at all. Yes. So done? I'm done. Should be very quick, right? Not? Okay, great. So meanwhile, we can try running the application while people are, you know, uh, still converting. So let's see. So who can see this message? It's saying player one is not defined at line 117. 117 something. I can zoom the in the browser a bit here. You should see this message here. Like, forget about the line number. At least you should see player one is not defined. This is the message you see. So Richard, you can see that, and then who else can see that? Yeah, I can. This open the border because yes, very lot of errors. Because because you copy it, copy it. No, something like. So all you can see this arrow here, please let me know. Yes. 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 Great. So guys, help your you know, uh, friends uh, to you know, have the same stage. <laughs> okay, I think we are all aligned. So, so what do you have done here? Yeah. Yes. Yes, that's true. So, guys, can I have have an, have an attention, please? Again, yeah, we'll do. You know, you will follow along, no, no problem. So, what we have done here, actually, we have removed all the variables, right? So, and put in one array. So, the advantage is like too many variables, too many maintenance, right, and too many memory allocation, and it's not user friendly, right? So, we just convert them into array. And we'll be, you know, we can do search, filtering, a lot of other things we can do, right? So we bundle them into an uh, array. So now our code is broken because uh, it's saying player one is not defined because we just remove the player one, right? We convert them player one to player nine into player objects, players something. So we should use, see here in line one. Um, so we are also doing the debugging, you know? So there's a good thing. So if you can click this line, whatever, so it will show exactly why it's happening. Did you click the line? the error message so here do that click here and it will showing why why, why it's happening so we are doing the debugging part as well so you can see this line number player one player two team one or something here so we go to the code find the right line uh, for my case it's 117 for your case could be different so you should see this one player one right it's not exist yeah and i also mentioned here to do so you should use it if you can see the screen, uh, should I zoom a bit here more? If you click uh, on the left, top left, Brown, yeah. it's this one. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Anwar. So, here I mentioned here, use the player from the player's array, right? So, instead of variable, we use from the player or array. So, just remove this thing and then use the array. Can you do that quickly? Yes. Yeah. Can you, can you okay. So... So uh, this is the player one. It's not. It's no longer exist anymore, right? So here, uh, probably I can give a hint here. So hint. So you can say, uh, what do we have now? Only P L A players, right? Yeah. And players. How do you use uh, get the player one? one index. So if you see here, is a players here, right? Or probably I can do you know uh, another one more interesting debugging. Players index zero here right so see here I'm just doing a console dot log and say I'm saying players and players or players is like you know just to show the message refresh so see here 
players. All my players are now here, right? So if, if I want to get the first player that was player one, so it is the zero index. So how to read uh, from a, a, a array? Any idea? How can I access yes. the? Yes. 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 Index. Yeah, yes. like this. Yeah. Index inside. Like this, zero. Yes. Perfectly. So just replace this player one. See here, I'm, I'm doing it for player one. Like this. So you replace all the player one to player nine with the index. Okay. When you're done, it should be say like this, no error. You know, just copy paste. Programming is just copy paste, nothing else. If you are fast in copy paste, then you are a good programmer. Trust me, trust me. You are saying this in but still, I have player is not defined. Okay. Maybe you are not defined. Player or players? Players. Which is saying? And the player. Yes, player is not defined. We should say players, right? Okay. Oh, okay. Players. Okay. 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 Players. Okay. Okay. You call the player one, player one. Oh, yes. So everything is S. Oh, yeah. Because we declared the object as players. Why you have can you share the report? Uh, yeah. 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 It will be easier. No, no, not everything. Just the object. So he can do the mm -hmm. result. Okay. Just the you know, array. Yeah. Just, How do you? Yeah, so you need to highlight just one yeah. 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 so right yeah. Then you'll do your job better. <laughs> no, I know. Yes, yes. I don't know the trick to do. Let's go to the side. Follow us. You should see the no error, just the you know the, uh, previous things. Mm. Mm. Yes. You can see that? Yes. Great, great, great. Two person three, and then uh, Richard can see. You can see that same result. Yes. No error, no error, you still did error. Yeah. You are doing something else? Is yeah. it <laughs> don't do extra, please don't do extra, then you will be really screwed yourself. Yeah. You will not be follow, you cannot follow with us. Extra thing we can do at home. Jacqueline, you are fine? That, you can see this result without any error? Yes. There should be that. I don't know. Eight correct constructs here on the board. Last was player. No, it should be a zero count system there. Should be the nine player. Oh, let's see. What's the last one? So, all are good. I can see that. Perfect. So, what is the last to do stuff? So there is nothing more, only two to do's. Oh, yeah, exactly. Okay. So the next uh, to do is uh, if you can read here, uh, move the winner logic into a function. If you remember earlier, we define all the functions for displaying, uh, getting team score, and get score, all the things, right? But it, uh, there are some bunch of uh, logic in the, in the bottom of the page. It's, it's finding the winner, right? So it's always a good idea to group them into, a, uh, into something. So into something is called function. So use a function and then group them into a function. So basically what you have to do.
function you know how to declare a function right function some name I mean not like that <laughs> like this and then uh, this is the keyword right so in this case we can call uh, winner or oh, fine winner that's a good name winner right and then copy everything and the uh, everything into the function and you do have to do one thing so if you're copying this everything in the function then you have to call the function also right so basically means that if you are calling this way then it should be fine so copy paste all the you know uh, the text uh, uh, all the lines here into the function in, uh, inside here and then call this function it should work Please let me know if you're confused with the task. So I'm also doing the same if you are someone not following, so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just copying method. putting everything inside and that's it and it should show exactly the same thing no error nothing are we all done see we are just doing copy paste code moving code here and there right should be very simple so if you have done exactly the same thing I have done, right? So you can, uh, but it's the not the function it, also, the function also. It doesn't matter, you know, JavaScript, you call, you write up top or bottom. Big. Anyway, we'll be moving this function in different file later on. So just keep it anywhere you like. So you can keep anywhere. Yeah. So, so is, but this is not a good practice, see? Uh, we are just uh, calling a function and there we are doing some bunch of logic here, right? So uh, team score one, team score two, team score three or something. So, so it would be nice if you pass this team score on the function and then we calculate them. So for instance, uh, we can say uh, team, team, or let's say team one score, right? And then Team two score, team three score, right? So replace team this one. See, this is the score for team one, right? Are you guys following with me? So just replace this one. Select, re replace all the team one with the first uh, parameter, and the second with this the second parameter. Like that. Yeah. Did you manage to do that? Almost. Almost. Yes, right? So, is your code look like this one? So, this three and then uh, like that? Similar? So, if you see what, what you can notice here, it, earlier it was uh, team three, two was winning, now team three is winning. Why is that? Uh, because, see here, we, we expect some, you know, uh, value. But here we are calling without, uh, you know, without any passing any value here, right? So, it's not a good idea. So, we should pass this value here, right? Copy. Take input as zero or? Like this. 
that's it so we are passing this value team uh, uh, team total score for team one and then blah 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 and then we are just you know uh, renaming this var uh, value to team one score or you can rename anything and then just receiving it is it okay that we're calling the function before we're actually defining it or should the yeah. In JavaScript, yeah, the best practice is below, but in JavaScript it doesn't matter. You know, it will run. So now it should uh, say the team two is winning again. Everybody's done. Okay. So if you're done with this one, then we're done with the exercise for this step one. Congratulations. Thank you. So can you recap what you have learned here, anyone? We made uh, uh, we converted the variable definition from individual to object. Correct. Right. And then we uh, fixed uh, we grouped some of the lines into functions. Yeah. And then we changed the function to accept a parameter. Yes. Great. And also we, we learned how to access array, right? Array elements with the index. It's manual, but we'll you know uh, improve later, but it's not a best way, but we'll improve. But anyway, we learn these things. That's you know, perfect. So, for step two, you know, to make the process faster, I did actually the similar step uh, at home. But uh, probably, if I want to share this to do, I have to share the whole code, right? And then you have to replace your code again. Otherwise, uh, it will be too much, you know, time consuming, you know, uh, copy paste all to do. So, I'll share the uh, step two, and it mentioned also some to do's here. So, we'll again you know, uh, improve the code. So I'm sharing again. So again, you copy paste and replace everything in index.js file. Sorry? Team three, yeah. team 3 winner, yes, it's because you are not passing you know, value to the function. That one we just discussed. Yes. So, so you are calling the function and then passing value. So if you copy from this from this the same thing that copy this, yeah. Yes. Step two. Uh, okay, I don't know how does it look like. Let's try together. Uh, players is not defined. That's true. It is because. Oh yeah. You know I I didn't copy paste properly. So let's let's take from the step one. I'll can you also do the same so I don't have to share the code again uh, from where is the step one we did some improvement oh it is replaced you know now I can go here copy uh, step two I can replace here I will share code if you want. Yes. <laughs> you have all two for it, that's good. Yeah. So uh, let's see if it's working for fine for me or not. Yes. So uh, let me share the code again. So yeah, you can copy again. I shared the uh, right file. If you copy paste properly, then you should see exactly the same thing. Nothing is breaking. But if you go to the file, then you can see again there are some to do and some steps mentioned. Right. Yes. Let me see where the to dos are. Yes. Okay. 
So you are all aligned? Anyone is struggling with anything? Yeah, You did copy paste properly, right? This next step? I shared this one uh, in the last step two. There's two step two. You just copy paste and replace it in in the HTML. Sorry, in the JS. Sorry. Okay. Oh, undefined winners. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Something is not working. Yeah, uh, I have also the same. Yeah, that's true. I need to find why it's not working. Anyway. You know, guys, this code is a bit broken here and there, but anyway, you will be fine. It's fine. It's undefined win winner. It's same for me as well. Yeah, that's okay. So we just see what is the what the what will be the improvement we will do here. So I said again, we will be you know put the you know our knowledge of creating array of objects. We will create the array and also objects uh, like this. So here. Uh, if you go scroll down, why is it fast to do here? To this here, right? Okay. Yeah. So the improvement is like, for instance, you, you can see here, right? So this line, uh, probably 143, you can see here, we are just passing object, right? Uh, uh, array of object like uh, players 0, players 1, and players 2, like this, right? So instead of like that, it's not a good way. So we should bundle them everything like a uh, team one, right? And then team two. Team three. So would, would it be nice like if you if we can remove this thing again also? See here. So we are just uh, calling the, this function, passing the team one and team two and team three, and then in uh, team and then it would have only one, you know, simple uh, parameter. It's much cleaner than passing all the you know information in the function, right? So to do that, we need to form the team object, right? So team object, I put a hint here how to create that. If you just bear with me here, can you just see here? So here I said, okay, create a to do like that. Create a team object. So you can define a variable and an object, and you can call the name of okay, a team. Is uh, like team one and players. You can say okay, the players one and players two. All this object like that. Okay, let me do. I think it's a bit, bit, bit complicated. So you should be doing like this. Team one, right? Team one. And we can call it name. Uh, name is like team one. And then what do we need for the team one? So if you go to display function, what was the required information? So this function, display team score here. So you need a, a team name, right? You it display a team name and the player one and player two and player three. These are the three important ingredients you need, right? So we can define the object like that. So, and then players, players, and then a player one, right? How do you get the player one? Players, yeah, index. that's true. Players <coughs> and index zero, right? And then I, I need a player two, also this index one, player three, index. To right, uh, players. What is the problem here? Anybody any idea? What? Why its error is like? 
colon expected. Okay, because it, I de declare the object, it should be you know array. Mm. I don't want to be as object; it's an array of players. Like this, and then for the team one, we also need some, you know, uh, to store the uh, score, total team score. So we can also have a uh, uh, object property like team score and just define the score is initially zero. That's it. So you do the same for team two and team three. Your code will be broken, but not, don't worry. We'll fix that. So I just shared the object. So you just need to what you do? Copy paste to two time and say team two, team three, and then team two, team three, three, four, five. Like that, and then use the team one, the two, two, yes. Are you done? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So at least if you can manage to create the object like this, then it's perfect. Yeah, that's fine. Error is okay. So we need to fix a lot of things. So we cannot fix everything together. So the, your code should be like, like that. So you are creating a variable of uh, object. With object, you know, we define the name and the players, and players are like a, we are storing the players here. All the players, players one and players two, right? Similar object for team two and team three. And what do we need to do? If you slowly scroll down to this, you know, where we are declaring, calling the function to display team here at line number around 160. So you can say display a team and return score here. Instead of all the four parameters, you just replace by team 1 and team 2 and team 3. Like here. Yeah. You did it, yeah. Everybody did it? It's okay? Yeah. Okay. So then if you, you see, the, here we are calling the function, right? Yes. So we are calling the function. If you go to declaration, how do we declare or define the function? Can you scroll a bit up, probably in uh, line number 40 or something, 149 or 40? So here you, it expects four, you know, uh, argument, right? Team, name, or player one, player two, and player three. So re remove everything. 
and then call team only team that's it right and then to debug you know now we need to you know fix this code and we don't know how to fix it so to debug this one we, uh, we write it here console dot log right team that's it or you can also write some text if you want you know to understand what you are con uh, consoling out team object so you should at least see this on team object and see the team object that one you have defined does it look like that team one and the players all the players you have and the total team score Yeah. You just re in this declaration, you remove everything, just keep the team, and then just console. There's two lines this word and this line. <laughs> Sorry? I drank too much coffee. <laughs> So all you can see this one. So, <clears throat> so display, guys, listen. Can you guys see here? Again? Now our screen is broken, right? The output you cannot see. There's some error messages, right? So if you, go, uh, if I can show what was actually the proper uh, flow. So flow is here. So you can see these two two line and team one and say hello to, to player and the score, right? But now you can also only see half of it. You can see uh, only the first uh, two lines and there are a lot of errors, right? So to to fix this uh, problem, what do you need for team information? We need a team name, and we need a player the dynamic things and everything is static and we need a score that's three things we need right and if you uh, investigate our object here player uh, team one uh, team object so you can see the name is available for that we have a name available right yeah. so we need a team one and then the name is available right so we can replace with this one and fix it and then the players we already have the players this uh, player is ob hasib and sirin and they, they are the three uh, players we needed and their score so we don't have the score here. We need uh, we have a digit and zone. So the score will calculate automatic, right? That's three information we need and everything we we have here, right? So if you go uh, to code and see, so to calculate the team score, uh, we are going to function called team score and we pass, you know. Oh, it was a bit advanced. I didn't share the code actually. Anyway, so we have a function to get the scores. Oh, forget about this thing, man. Don't, don't read this line at the moment. So here, the first thing, we need to display the team name, right? So how do you display the team name? How do you find this one? So if I uh, see the object, an object has a property called name. So if I say dot name, right, and refresh, yes. it's saying, okay, I need to, you know, console this one a bit down. Copy paste here so I can see this here it's coming right so then I need to fix what I need to fix the player information but if you see here what is uh, saying it's saying uh, player one is not defined right yes. to show the player one information and why it's happening it's happening in index.js line number 144 if I click here so it says say player uh, say hello player one if I go down here right this line 144 right 144 this line say hello player one. and player one doesn't exist so how can you get the player ones if you see here in our console okay i didn't save this one okay okay yes team dot players team dot players 
yeah you're right perfect uh, probably this one see refresh yeah. oh congratulations so it's the same for the remaining players right yeah. can you do that yes. player two and three If it's complaining this line, line number 142, just com uh, comment the file line for now. Uh, or copy and then put it down in the below. Before return statement. If you get this like uh, this one, the 142 line number is complaining, just move it, move the line down. So basically, we just need to do the same for player 2 and player 3. Yes. Is it now perfect? Yes. So you can see the problem again here, right? Uh, because we moved the line down, the total score. 150 or something so it's complaining about, about the player one right or something uh, total score is not defined if you click here oh here okay sorry i need to move this bit here so you should again see this player one is complaining so after this say hello I move the line uh, da uh, here down below the total calculating total team score right and if I run this program again it will say again player one complaining because see here player wasn't doesn't exist right we just need to do the same thing like team one and the player one replace the player one with this one and replace the player two with the index one and we replace this one with the index two then it should be just fine. Sorry, total score is not defined. Sorry, total score is. So if you see here, can you see here? Say hello. Then remove the line after they say hello, uh, you know, the total uh, team score. Because you are you expect this team score before uh, this line. And look here, move this line, this line above the console. Then you should be okay. Is anyone have any problem yet? No? Perfect. Guys here in the group? It's okay? It's fine? So you see this, right? See how we have started breaking the code and fixing this one? So We can revisit what was the you know uh, things uh, to, to do remaining things. So how is going in that corner, uh, Shaja? Shaja, is it fine or you have an error? What it's saying?
Did you consult with the heart? So, who can summarize what we have done here in this step two? Anyone? You? Probably, yes. Uh, guys, again, attention, please. So, we are done with this step two. Uh, we'll summarize and see if there's anything remaining. So, anyone, probably you can summarize this thing, what we have done here? We created different teams. Yes. We sort of like, uh, you know, uh, create a team object. Objects, yeah. yeah, and also we make it a bit nicer. You know, we uh, instead of passing all the four uh, uh, things in, in this method, we just combine them into bundle them to one, right? Yes, yeah, so it's, it start looking more nice. You know, now it's more maintainable. Earlier, we was the line, line was here, uh, it zero, one, two, three, four, something like the team object. Now, now it's look, you know, uh, just one team object, and then you're passing here, and you just one object, right, to deal with it. And here, all the time, 0, 1, 2, 3, index. Uh, that's it, I guess. So, uh, if you can see here, I said, uh, in this uh, exercise, we will be creating a team, ob team object, and then we use the team object to display the team, you know, information. That's it. Okay. Now we go to the step 3. Is it a step two or three now? Those tracking. Okay, so now it's fun. Yeah. Let me see if the code runs. <laughs> Yeah, it's running. Now I'm sharing the, you know, uh, access for step three. Step three. If you want to keep copy, you know, copy the file and then save it somewhere, or you can name it the file step one or step two. But now you need to copy this one and then replace everything in index.js. So if you want to keep copy your uh, uh, your things, then you can create a separate file or somewhere you can copy paste. So all you need to do go here and copy everything and then come here the index.js and replace everything. That's it. And you should see exactly the same thing before, like before. So if you were done, huh? yeah, we'll fix it later. I, yeah, I can fix now, but I'm thinking let like, fix it later. So. Zero. Yeah, that's true. That's true. We didn't fix that one. Yeah, we'll fix it now. In this exercise, we'll fix it. So in this exercise, we'll do the arrow array, you know, manipulation. Uh, we need uh, also loop. We'll walk through the, uh, you know, how, what you have learned for loop, for each loop, what sort of loop we have learned. For each, for, for, do while, all the loops, right? So in this case, we probably need only four for each. That's it. So if you slowly scroll down and see and come here, come here, come here, come here, down below, here. 
113. Can you see? This one? Uh, what is the problem here? See, uh, we have a team object, right? And team object has some players, right? There are always three players. Uh, we have seen that. Player 1 and play, uh, player, player 0, player 1 and player 2, right? So we are repeating these three lines all the time. So what happens if you insert more player? Player 4, player 5. So then you need to again replace uh, line two more lines like that. Uh, one line, like two lines and, and say three, four. Come on, you can do this all the time, right? So how can you improve this code? For each. Exactly. So we have this everything. So we just iterate through using some smart tool like for each for loop or any loop you think is best for you so you just iterate through and then re, you know re, uh, replace everything uh, by one line would a map function be even shorter uh, no map function is something different map function you know it may it manipulate uh, you just manipulate the array of array information you don't iterate through so i think it's best you we use the loop so i put some hint here you can see here so use the loop uh, to call uh, say hello object and then uh, set uh, you know total time score what is it? but let's do this first one so you, you define a for, for each uh, loop and then replace the say hello line all the three lines to one line I give a hint so you can you know copy the hint and start doing it from here Yeah. At this stage, should we be using error functions? Yeah, probably you can do that. Yeah, definitely. You I'm can use error function. Yeah. I still gotta rush up on. But try whatever you feel you know comfortable now. If you don't know how to use the for each, you just copy, you know, in the browser, write JS for each. It will give you this uh, double Mozilla developer things. So here, there's an example here, right? So our object is like this, and then uh, you just copy, you know, everything, and then paste here. So basically, uh, our array is, this, we need an array, right, to iterate through. And our array is, uh, Team players, yes. Mm -hmm. So team players for each, and then you define a function, and then uh, receive the each player, and then just output this one. That's it. Uh,
you can copy paste from this syntax and then I'm doing the same for you and then replace you don't need to return now Sorry? So team is not defined. Team is not defined. In, uh, okay, which line? So you can debug, right? You know how to, how to debug. So you click the line and then uh, see. Yeah. There is a console log and team dot name. Yes. Team pairs is working. So can you you know what's happens to me? I'm always talking about it. It's one of and I find uh, and I again like oh where's the air? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I swear on the channel's not Oh, sorry. Same thing on that Same thing same thing when I'm writing. If I'm writing anything and I write a word. This one? This one? Yeah, we can see here. I've been trying to catch up. Sorry. What is the output? What can I do? Yeah, it's the same output. You will not see any error. That's the thing. Flare is not defined. No. But you need to receive it. You can use error, 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 error function. You know? Like this one. Flare. So it's one line only, right? Replacing everything by one line. Isn't it amazing? You done, uh, Richard? Can you also help the uh, Jack thing? You done? Can, can, you, can you show it? It's the same. You shouldn't see any error, that's the thing. The team score is not adding. Now, after learning the bus, it was a train ride home. Yeah. What's the difference? Yeah, so I think this one? Yeah. So it was like. Just oh, you're asking a between error function or the other one? So that has you know, a lot of you know, brackets and uh, multiple lines. It's one line only. So it looks more uh, readable, nicer, but sometimes it's also complex. So I think now. Done? Yeah, so in this stage? Oh, you're not following what? It was in front. Yeah. yeah, also you can use the error, error function, right? Okay, so I replaced the word function and the curly brackets. Yeah, try that. Okay, see here. Yeah. You are showing the name for some game, but not one of those. Next one. Yeah, but okay. So the name we want. I think it's too much code here. Land and layout. We don't do that. So guys, you just have to write only one single line here. This line will work.
And can you also uh, can you also do the same for here? Uh, like get score. Here you can see we are passing. You know, uh, three many uh, three players in a separately. Instead of like that, we pass everything. Like uh, you know, uh, get score or uh, something. How can you say team score or something? So in team score, we don't need these three. We just we just pass team players, right? So team score uh, require three, uh, you know, uh, value for team one, team and two, and team three. So we can just provide the players, and then it, it should calculate by itself. We do the same exercise, like go to team score. What did it expect? Team score. It expect three scores, right? So you go to three scores instead of this one. You just say team player, team. Uh, sorry, you can say players, players. And then iterate through every player and then get the score. Or you can pass, you know, team object itself. Team object. Pass the team object. It's better. We pass the team object and we receive a team object. Team object, right? So, do you remember what we are replacing here? If I just re, you know uh, you know re undo that thing, it was like that, right? Just to you know keep track what I, what we are replacing. I just copy paste into multiple line, and then one is commented, right? So here is the actual one. We are passing the steam, right? So we go to team score function here. We replace everything because it don't need three uh, arguments, it's just one. And then we need score one and score two and score three like that, right? So how do you get the score one? So you remember here, we are getting the score by calling the function get score or something, right? So we copy this thing and then like here, let score one equal this right score two score three we are moving you know complexity into different function a different function it should be okay You should see the exact same result. So basically, in here, while we are uh, assigning uh, the total team score, uh, calling a team score function, and instead of passing all the scores separately, we just pass the object, and then here we just you know calculate like that. So four line of change. Remove everything, just pass the team team as an argument, a parameter, and then receive here and then just get the score separately. Where? Yeah, exactly. Let me know if anyone done, so we can do some more here. You just write the first line and then second, third line, just copy paste. So, if you, you know, if I remove this, you know, it will be much easier to see at one screen. Or oh, something here. So, instead of this line, we are in team score it expect three value score one score two score three so we just remove everything and we are passing the team and then we are calculating score one and score two here only would you be able to paste your code thus far in uh, slack 
I think I did a couple. Uh, made a couple mistakes. Should, should I do this only, so you can do the rest? Control A. No, no, no. Mistakes in the okay, past okay, steps. okay. Everything. I've been trying to catch up with uh, my my past mistakes. Okay. Hmm? Yeah, I did best. Yeah. Back up to yeah. So you are okay? All all are you okay? Why it's saying? Is it fine for all? I you know it's still a problem. A problem. Then copy paste the you know file from the uh, Slack. One on five. <laughs> Are you all good? Yeah. Okay, so who are done? So we can do here, see, again. Guys, look at here. What this function does? It, re it receives some, uh, you know, oh, we need to remove them, right? We, know we don't need all the things, we just expect team. So also, you have, if you have time, we also update their documentation as well. So what the function is responsible, it, it just calculate the score and return the score, right? It does nothing else special. So here you can see we are just uh, defining a variable and then uh, calculating the score is storing it and then uh, in the end we are just, you know, uh, making a addition and then returning it, right? So this everything we can also replace with the for each function, for each loop, right? It's a repetition. See, you have a, a repeated code like there, you know, get this one, team. We replace, we uh, improve this, you know, say hello function with the for each, right? So we, all, we can also do the same exact exercise for this get score. I'm doing it, just follow it, okay? So for this team players, we have the team players, right? Dot for each, right? And then we just like this. And then should we use the error, error function or something? Can we do it first without the error function? Error fu without error function. First without the error function. Sorry? Error. Error function. Okay. Uh, so let's say player. Player. So we are passing players. Now we are using a player. One player, right? And then like this. And then you just say get score. You copy paste. You know, I'm very fan of copy paste. I don't write code. And then what do you need to pass here? What do you have? You have player, right? You can just pass player. Right? Yeah, that's a good question. Why are we storing? That's a problem, right? So, that's a problem. Probably we can, uh, you know, score. We can, we can do in ma many various ways. So, let's, you know, assign a variable like um, total score equal zero something like that and then you know for now we replace we, we don't use the error function it's, it's a bit complicated for, for now function here and then you you expect a player player and then we call the same function here copy and then instead of everything I just need this right and then I can say team score equal this and then I can say plus right so I have this one and then I just return team object and then remove all the code right will it work probably let's see it works you can get the team score at least right this is the one 
don't focus on the undefined stuff. We'll fix this later. But you can see this exact thing. So can you also do this with yourself? So it's now dynamic. It's no matter how many players we have, we can calculate the team score. Try yourself. You don't have to. You know, <laughs> <laughs> if you have extra copy paste, then no, it's no, not. Anyway, I will share the file so you can copy paste later. Later, if you want. Done. Great. So, yeah. Me? Yeah. Oh no. no. <laughs> Okay. Why don't you should t t take a break at two or what? I don't know the time. Two. two. Okay, in fifteen minutes. Yeah, we have time. So you have three lines. Just replace everything in the repeated code with the for loop. That's the thing. Okay, you can. Uh, it's like adding. You can do like that as well. Same same thing like copy. And you can say, okay, I do this. So I am storing the total score, uh, passing total score and getting the new score. So total score was zero here for the first time. And then second, uh, and it, it provides some value. So I'm adding it and storing it here. And second time I have a total score something. You don't know, you know how this is storing happened, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think. Okay. Okay. No problem. See, I, there's a nice tool here. What do you have to write? Debugger. D e b u g g e r. This is a nice tool here. You copy, paste, and then go to browser and refresh. It will do some magic here. Can you see? Can you do that? So, it stopped the code. You know. So you can debug the code, how this code execute, how this function works, you know, uh, the programming works. So if I can, bit, I don't know, I need more space or anyway, zoom. Bit. Is it okay, guys? Can you see see from there? So this is important also. Uh, we're also covering some debugging also, right? So here, we just paused our you know uh, compiler to stop here. I'm saying, okay, let's stop. We'll execute later. So what you can see here, um, watch. So if you write the total score, you can do it later at home. And what do you see the value here? Zero. zero. zero because the first line uh, we said zero and then we stopped here, right? And then if we do the iteration like this one, it says uh, execute the next line. So we do the execution, still zero, right? We click again. What it says? Because this two, uh, is, is uh, you know, uh, the player uh, one, it's uh, passing, uh, you know, See player one, what it has uh, two, 27 and 2, right? If we multiply, it's a 54, right? So then we are storing in the total team, uh, total score variable. So we iterate again, execute, and still what it has, we are stopping in this line, line number 90. It has 54, right? And if we execute the line number 91, then what will you do? 54 plus the new score. If you come here, 54 it has, right? Yeah. And and this one, you don't know how uh, what is the value here. So see here, 50, 71 and eighty eight, right? So there's a nice way you can select right button, okay. or you can select copy, copy, and then go to console. I don't know the math. That's why I'm doing it. So what are the values like? So if you come here again. 
I have a player is like a player player one <clears throat> this player has the digit 71 and zone 88 if you multiply 71 and 88 I don't know the math that's why I'm going here in the console I just execute the line and it gives me the output what the function uh, this uh, give us re in return so this is the you know or you can write player as well here to see the player object so this player has this information digit name and zone and this function returns the total score if you come here again so total score is 54 and now what do you get here 6248 so it will add so step over so it's storing in the variable right so it will you know do again for the third player so we now have total score 6302 and then if you come here what will what it will do here in the line number 91 can you guess so here we will see we'll get 6302 and then the score for this player serene right for you so 28 multiplied by 2 and then it will store add and store here so it's store here right and then if you go down see the total score is this and uh, we are returning it so that's how you debug how the code you know for, uh, this for loop works or the code executes internally because here when you are uh, uh, writing a for for each loop you don't know how this you know executes how many times it's executing so it's a very nice tool you can debug your code any question here So guys, can you confirm you are you are good with this? You managed to write this code here. Sorry. So you need to define the variable here. See, see here. Uh, look at this screen. You need to define the variable. Total team score. Total score equals zero or something. Good. Anyone need help? So probably Richard can help. You you can copy if you understand the code. That's the deal. Do you understand the code or not? It's a little shaky. It's a little shaky, but then ask the question. Uh, then I can explain. No, no, it's shaky. We just need a little bit more time to, to read over it. But I understand what everything is. Uh, okay. I wasn't, I wasn't here when we put together the whole game, so... Oh, you're, you're not here for the first exercise? Then you're not get, creating what we actually actually doing. That's okay. what I mean, so Because all the logic were, were built, now yeah. we are just, you know, using array, object, and for, for each loop to yeah. make it more dynamic. That's the exercise today. We are not putting any logic how to, you know, calculate the yeah. score, how to uh, find the winner. So, so the logic, I understand. I just have to keep going back and looking, like, yeah. what did you guys do with team score? Yeah. Yeah. What did you guys do with something enough? Total score. We just wrote that one. Yeah. All the functions, the predefined functions, and yeah. predefined variables. Yeah. That's true. So if you are have if you have done this one, so can you console again? Can you just follow me? What I'm doing here? Console. I want to see how the team object today is look like. So again, team. So can you see here, here? So team has a name, team has a player, and I, we also give a variable, you know, in the beginning, you remember, total team score something, we assign it zero. So isn't it good time, we already is, uh, have a total score, right? Isn't it a good time that we store this va value here? So probably we can do like that. Team, how to access the, you know, uh, this uh, property? Team dot. Uh, team dot, yes, that's good. Team dot, we can copy paste, you know, I'm good in copy paste. So equal sign and then what the score is? This one, right? Total score. So we store here, right? 
we also store here so oh, sorry and then store semicolon and see how does it look like here is zero now it will you know uh, change so it is storing the value right so in that case if it's storing in that case we don't have to return you know return the value which is always available in the team, uh, team object so we can you know safely uh, remove this line and we can say return is not a sum of the three player return is none nothing right but it will break this is undefined why is that because if you go to this line where is where is where it is undefined so we need to find the you know this line copy or oh, it also mentioned here undefined so we can click on the line Return oh, it's a winner. Winner is not a problem. Winner will fix later. But anyway, so how to you know find your code and how to fix it? You copy paste like this. Team score. I can go and search. I don't know where exactly it, it is. Like this one, probably the here, right? So I can you know to be sure, am I in the right place or not? Yes, I'm at the right place, right? So here I need to fix this one. I just found the way. You know how to explore the code, how to go to the code, uh, the line you want to fix. So I remove this one because I know exactly what I'm uh, fix. So this is undefined, right? This total score and let me debug. So total score coming from this line, right? Yeah. And team score, team score earlier was returning something, right? Yeah, team score. So I just remove the return statement. I said it's none, right? It shouldn't return anything. So how can you get? Because it it can return, then it can store here, and now it's not storing. But do we need that because if you console again you know console here before the you know problem probably here log again i can say team right see here if i i can get the score from the team object itself so I don't need to get stored this one here anymore. I just remove it like that. Mm -hmm. And then I can get the team score from here, right? Dot copy paste. That's it. It is working, right? I can uh, remove the console stuff. And or maybe it's better for now you know it is breaking something else we just what should, what should you do okay let's let it break no problem like that Return. Yeah, there's a problem. Yeah, there's a thing. So it is it is showing exactly okay for team one, right? And then it's breaking because it says undefined again. So we just remove the you know declaration, right? So it is it, it no longer exists. So we need to somehow remove this one, right? So we remove this one, this line return, and then it should work, right? So the problem is now here. It was saying undefined. Now it can't find the you know winner because the all the variable is not exist. We will fix this later. But if you are if you achieve this one, then it's you know good. So we can clear a bit here. We remove the all the unnecessary thing here. Team score. We can you know first show the team and then uh, say hello and then define it here. Team score, right? And then display the team score. That's it. And then we just you know adjust it returns none because now we remove this statement and also it also need only need player not everything is object object team that's it.
too good? Any con any confusion question? Is it too complex? I think for some it, it might be a bit complex because if you don't know the step one, I mean module one. Are you guys for feeling it boring and complex or what's your feeling? Should we continue after the lunch or? I hope so. I mean, yeah, definitely we'll continue the class, but this this uh, exercise. Yeah, because it will be more fun the next part. I, I was thinking to you know do some HTML CSS. I promised. So now it's everything is here in console, right? And it's not user friendly. You don't you cannot show no one go to browser and open the dev tool and see this output, right? It's not best. So if you can do some you know graphical uh, representation, we uh, we show some nice color and put that thing there, right? It'd be great. So probably I can show you before you go for lunch how it would look like. So final output should be look like that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Will you like that? Yeah, like it. So everything is console. We will be transforming from everything to from the console. And we will uh, probably define the team here, player, team one, team two, team three, and then we click on find winner. So it will it will click on the button and it will do some magic and the display the team winner. Will it be nice? Yeah. Great. So we take a quick break. Uh, half an hour is best for us, or I mean, how long will you take the break? Oh, you want to get the code? Okay, I'll share that. Yeah, yeah. And let's see how far we can achieve today. Uh, I don't know. Uh, we can do everything or not. Yeah. Let's see.